Five four PMI here. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate today some adventures and misadventures of constructing a HF tape measure dipole uh, antenna that uh, will work from 40 through 6 meters. Uh, our first step in our selection process was to uh, come up with a good solid tape measure that uh, has a good stiff spring. Basically, we tested four or five different types of uh, tape measures until we found one that had a strong enough spring to retract on its own without too much difficulty. We did this by clamping the uh, tape into a vise here and pulling it, fully extending it to the 33 feet. This particular model, uh, which we picked up at the cheap discount place for about four or five bucks, uh, we'll give you the model number in the article maybe later on. But this particular model suited our needs, and uh, we tried to get a match pair. We got two of the same type, and we didn't want one with a stronger screen than the other, but we got a match pair of these, this particular 33-foot antenna and began our project. Our next step will be to build the carrier that mounts these mount into that we will suspend from a rope uh, in a dipole configuration. In our uh, building our tape measure antenna, our dipole antenna, is to remove the belt clip here off the side of our tape measure, set it to the side, move it out of the way, and uh, basically we uh, uh, were thinking, contemplating what would support this tape measure and give us a way of moving it up and down a rope suspended from two trees. Uh, ran across these rafter ties basically at the local hardware store uh, and after contemplation contemplating we uh, we picked up these these are 12 inch rafter ties picked them up uh, basically thought long and hard about our process and come up with the idea of setting these on here like the so there's a little place on this rafter tie where there's a little indentation looks like it'd be easy to bend Set the tape measure there, mark it on both sides so that uh, we can bend this to conform to our tape measure. Set our tape measure to the side and uh, take the rafter tie, set it into our vise here and clamp it down on our mark. Basically bend it, which is it's pretty easily bent in this direction. Bend it on that one mark there that uh, I just marked with the tape measure inside and take and put it on the second mark clamp it down again lock it down and bend that in our vise and basically that was all the process of uh, we made two of these to support the tape measure and to show you how we did it basically we've got one bent very simply in a vise. You probably not even have to need a vise. Set it in here like this and I've already got a second one bent to that configuration and I'll show you that uh, basically took two of them, bent them to fit the tape measure as so and after bending two of them we decided we have a support system up here that we can bolt to with the holes already pre-drilled into the rafter tie. We took this configuration, took a small piece of flat stock of aluminum, cut it off to be long enough to fit under the tape and extend out about two inches beyond to sort of help support the tape measure at the uh, feed point of the tape measure. We took uh, drilled holes in the flat stock aluminum with the drill and took a rivet tool, a basic old hand rivet tool, once we had the holes drilled, we took rivets in our holes with our rivet tool, basically just put the rivets in there, SO, and pop rivets in there. This, using rivets was our idea of preventing the, our ropes and strings that we're going to use to operate this tape measure antenna from hanging up on anything. You could probably use self-tapping self screws with no difference. Alright, once we got this 
uh, riveted on here. We uh, got it. I'm not going to do that right now for time constraints. But basically, we ended up with a carrier that looked similar to this. And once we got to this point, we could set the tape right inside. And that is what the uh, finished product of the actual carrier ended up looking like. Then we took these two top straps and we bent them together. It's going to be hard to do in this demonstration. We basically just, because this stuff is pretty simple to bend by hand, bent these together in such a fashion and we took just a normal everyday uh, hardware store type uh, pulley that's fairly economical. Put it in between these two. I'm going to demonstrate this Ran a bolt through the strap, put the pulley inside, a couple of washers on there, put it back together, and fasten it together. And this ended up being our carrier system, which will be more evident once we proceed with this article a little bit further. But that's what we suspended it from the rope between two trees on. It allowed it to roll pretty easily on the rope, allowed the tape to extend, without difficulty and retract. Completed our construction of our uh, tape measure carriers. We uh, created two that uh, the final product ends up looking like this. Uh, got the pulley at the top, bolt holding the pulley to the carrier that we fabricated after rafter ties. Uh, rafter ties fastened together by rivets here where we drilled and fastened a piece of aluminum at the bottom. That's basically uh, our completed carrier. Cheap easy to build, no special tools required, and our next step was to fabricate a suspension system, a rope suspension system for this tape measure dipole antenna. Our first step was to take these uh, pieces of Schedule 40 PVC, uh, I believe it's an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, bought some end caps, some eye bolts, uh, created two of these like this, uh, two eye bolts on one side, one for uh, a rope to pull, pass through to extend the tape in and out, another one for the top rope which will actually suspend the tape measure and carrier from. I bolt on the opposite side to run a rope to a tree or support system other than uh, the dipole itself and we put one at the bottom just in case we had high wind uh, situations and needed to anchor the, the uh, bottom of uh, the complete system to keep it from bouncing and blowing in the wind. That's basically our end support. Our center support now, I will move our finished product away so that you can see a little bit more detail. We put the uh, same type PVC, two eye bolts at the top for the top suspension uh, rope for the two carriers. Uh, I think each one of these, and if I'm not mistaken, are about 18 inches long, 16 to 18 inches long. We uh, put an eye bolt in the center, again for the retraction rope to pull the tape in and out, a, a place for the, the rope to pass through and act like a pulley, sort of. Then we took a piece of PVC pipe, split it in half, cut it about uh, four or five inches long, drilled a hole in the center, ran a small number six, number eight bolt through, drilled a hole in the end of our tape measure, which I will demonstrate here. Our tape measure at the very end had a slot. It was not big enough for the bolt to pass through. We drilled the hole a little bit larger, filed it out, and actually fastened it along with the lead to fasten our uh, uh, feed line to. Uh, we made it, fabricated these uh, leads, bolted these to the halves of the PVC we, we made, and we did this uh, split PVC type system with two hose clamps to uh, mount it to this so that we could move our tape measures up and down on the center support to keep everything level and uh, not create a pinch in the tape as it came in and out. And it would keep everything level so that it would ride clean and smooth. Next, we took 
after after mounting this up, we decided that the tape may actually uh, cause a problem like that. And and after extending it past 20 or 30 feet, the tape may sag in the middle and actually cause a kink or a bend in it. So we decided to do uh, sort of like your home drapery rods, uh, curtain rod or whatever. We took uh, basic uh, small shower curtain hooks like you can pick up at Walmart, uh, department stores, uh, whatever. Uh, mounted about four of them across the top row, four of them around the tape measure. Then we tied a string from the center of our center support to the carrier of the tape measure. And along the string, we simply took and made loops and tried to make the loops large enough so that the tape would be evenly spaced between the top rope and level with the bottom of the tape measure as it extended in and out. Basically extra support down through the, the tape as it extended in and out. And it uh, moves in and out and collapses back in as the tape measure moves back in as you see right there. As you pull out every six feet or so in the blue twine we tied a loop put these two things, uh, two rings, and once once it got to the six foot point, that would stop. The next one would go out another six foot, stop. The next one would go out another six foot, stop. And basically you had to support every six foot for the tape measure so that it wouldn't sag. All right, once we fabricated our end piece, our two end pieces and our center support for this system, I basically want to run through the process of putting it all together, even though it's already sitting here done for you. Uh, we actually took the top suspension rope that we uh, were going to support these tech measures with, tied it to the center, ran it through and underneath the pulley of our carrier, and we brought it out to our end piece. And as, as we, as we uh, designed this, we knew that our tape measure per side was 33 foot long. So we cut our top rope about 35 foot long. long so that it would extend out about 34, 35 feet to allow the full extension of the 33 foot tape measure as it rode in and out. Uh, next, we tied, if you walk with me back up here to the tape measure and the carrier, we tied a smaller rope to the actual tape measure itself. This rope we brought out again to the end piece. We pulled it all the way out to the end piece and the end result fed it through the loop here at the end and as and actually made one large loop brought the far end all the way back around to the other side of the carrier of the tape. This allowed us to pull as you would a, a drapery or a drawstring on a curtain rod and, and extend the tape in and out. With, a, with one big continuous loop we can walk anywhere under the antenna even the, the center support and actually pull the rope and extend the tape measure.